Hey guys, on today's tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to download free books on your iPad. So it doesn't really matter which iPad you guys have, it's the same instructions for all of them. Let's just swipe down and then we're going to type in iBooks like I just did right now. And then just open up that app. All right, so it's called Books. Before, if you search it up online, it's going to be always iBooks. So let's just go into Bookstore. Under Bookstore, you guys will see this. Now, on the top left-hand corner, you guys are gonna see Browse Selections. Let's just tap there. And then the sixth option is Special Offers and Free. So that's where you guys see all the free books. All right, so if you guys scroll down, scroll down a little bit more, you guys are gonna see Top Free. Let's just tap on See All. And here are all the free ones. So you guys can see on the right-hand side, it says Get. So there's no price to it, that means it's free. So this is one way to get here. There's so many ways. You guys can also go into search. If you search and just type in free, let's just type in free. Usually people type in free books. There's really no need. And here we go. So again, you guys will see all these. So let me just put see all. And again, we see all these get. If we see a price, that means it would be something that we need to purchase, such as these guys, for example. It says $6.99, so obviously it's not free. Down here below, we see also prices, $9.99. So everything that you see a price obviously will not be free. That's why I showed you the other way because you just see the ones that are free. And here's kind of like a mix and match of things between free and not free. Anyways, those are the two main ways to get into free books. Once you download them, they will be in your library, just like so. And you can also just turn in PDFs into your iPad. So you guys can send yourselves an email, for example, or do it through Dropbox or any means really. I used to do it through iTunes. iTunes is a program on your computer. So you guys could hook up your iPad to your computer and then just transfer some PDFs that way. But it's just faster and easier to do it through email or Dropbox or even Google. Um, and that way you guys can save those PDFs here on your books. And that way you guys can treat them as books. Although they're PDFs. PDFs are different than books themselves. So they're not the same thing. Books handle a little bit different than actual PDFs here on books on your iPad. So you guys can also do that. And obviously you guys can get free PDFs online, but the legal way to get free books right now here on your iPad, this is the only way, all right? Anyways, that's it for this video tutorial. If you guys have any questions, comments, you can write them down here in the comments area and don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.